Welcome to the Allure of the Seas in January of 2024. Hey everyone, I'm Patrick from Oakland Travel. And the ship is underway at the start of a four-night cruise out of Port Canaveral, Florida over to the Bahamas. Uh, as you saw in the previous vlog episodes, we've been up here for a while, kind of recording video and just enjoying the sail away. And it was finally time to go do something else. And so we're kind of heading back down inside the ship just to kind of wander around and just enjoy the allure of the seas. It was our third time on the ship. It had been a solid 10 years since the last time we were on Allure. And uh, Royal Caribbean decided to start doing these little four night cruises in late 2023 and into 2024. And it's kind of like, ooh, a little four night cruise on Allure out of Port Canaveral, which we live in Orlando, so we can drive over here in about an hour and give us a chance to go see the new terminal in Nassau and another chance to go hit uh, the perfect day at Coca Cay private island in the Bahamas. Why not? So a uh, nice little basic cruise here. You see Maria's got a little hoodie on. Some other people uh, similar, some people do. Uh, kind of last week of January, the temperature was, you know, pretty good. I think it was probably in the 60s and but nice, you know, sunny and everything. So just a really good start to a nice little four night cruise, Port Canaveral, Florida on the allure of the seas. Reminds me of Harmony of the Seas walking through here. Different ship. Oh, you're talking about something other than just... Thank you. Looks like they might have a few things going here. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Everything here nice and delicious. <laughs> nice and delicious. What is the guys? Oh, yeah. Why not? It's additional places to sell Starbucks. Oh, it's supposed to be, well, you have. It's supposed to be the smoothies. Where's but they can do the okay. smoothies too. Take See, he's got some machine over there. He's getting ready to make one. Twenty-five. Now is that like a decent size smoothie? I don't know. I'm about to make one. So. It's the power it's shake. Expensive. The ultimate meal replacement. I mean, I guess if it's you know decent size and it's all all natural good ingredients. Ooh, all of these are included in the deluxe beverage fresh bar. They are? Yeah, see? Huh. Well, I mean, as much money as people are paying for these, these drink packages. Oh, that's true. Because Royal has gone crazy with the pricing. That's, I've said this before. What is it, like 60 some dollars? Let's just say it's $65. For what? A day for the alcohol. Pack? The alcohol or package? Is that more than that? Oh, it's more than that. It's like 90 a day or something like that. Okay, so like, the refreshment package? They're See, just... that's, here's, a, here's the issue. If I got the refreshment package, I don't well, know what it is a day, but I don't know that I would, because I don't do sodas. Yeah, I wouldn't, because you're already on the ship. It's going to be more expensive than if you do it pre-cruise. No, I'm not talking about actually getting it. It's, it's oh, yeah. So I would be drinking these things, literally like one a day. Yeah, I mean, and you know, fresh the squeeze. Are included, yeah. But not and there's soda. And or, or I and wouldn't drink soda. Well, but, but there's, there's also there's also like flavored waters and stuff in the soda machines and you know. It's pretty much anything other than alcohol would be better. Like literally anywhere on the ship. Got all the protein powder. Lightning strips. Yeah, calm music going on. Oh, Make it in the haircut. A 
think Maria's trying to decide. Are you? Are you getting one? You getting something? Um, no, let's go to it. Okay. Down to the promenade. Yeah. 